You there? Yep. All right, folks. Uh, let me turn fly on just so I don't die. Okay. This right here, folks, is... What, what's the code for the door? 666. You guys are horrible. Yeah. This right here, my friends, and that's spawned in the background. This is a spaceship, folks. This is a motherfucking spaceship. All right? This right here is the USS Redneck, all right? Now, this right here, this spaceship, is a functional spaceship, okay? Len, why, why don't you get in and move it uh, 10 blocks up for me? Just, just move it 10 blocks up. Yeah. Now, the way these work, this is the warp drive mod, okay? This is the warp drive mod. Now, the way the warp drive mod works is you can build your ship out of anything, just about. I don't think you can build it out of sand, but you, you can build it out of just about anything. Well, and, you could try sand, but it wouldn't end up very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That does bring a really interesting question, is can, uh, can you warp through falling sand? Okay, here it's jumping, it's jumping. And there it is, and oh, now it's moved. Now, unfortunately, it's not like, you know, some of the other spaceship games. It is Minecraft after all. So you're not going to be able to like fly around, you know, like that. But you can move your ship. You can move your ship and you can move it forwards, backwards, up, down, and uh, left and right. However, at the current time, one of the things you cannot do is you cannot turn your ship. So wherever you are set, you are set. Okay, so you, you notice he turned it, he moved it to the left there. You can move it. Left, right, up, down, forwards, and backwards. But you can't turn it, okay? Now this is cool. This is cool, right? No, this isn't cool. You guys ain't seen cool yet. Let me, let me show you fucking cool. Uh, boom, boom, boom. All right. Okay, so how this works is you've got to get a warp controller and a warp core, okay? So the warp core... That's like, what, the key mod, or the key part of the mod, you'd say? Yeah. And then the warp controller is how you control the warp core. All right, now this thing needs a fuck ton of power. Uh, Right-clicking on it, you can see right now it's, it's holding, what is that, 100 million EU? That's a lot of power. For those of you guys who don't know IC2, that's a lot of fucking power, okay? That's a lot. Uh, then you have to have one of these, uh, what is this, an advanced computer? Yes, only okay. advanced computer will work. Have to have an advanced computer, okay? You put the advanced computer on top of the warp controller. Now, you can see right here, we've got the warp controller and the warp core. They're, they're horizontal. You can't put them on top of each other. You can't put them like that. They have to be in a line and a flat. The other thing is, the warp controller is the front of your ship, and the warp core is the back of your ship okay so if you move the warp controller to where this energy cell is then this is the front and this is the back if you put the warp controller right here then this is the front and that's the back so you kind of have to get it set up the way you like it okay uh yolo swag no you do not have to be a sub to play you do not have to be a sub to play so that's that's how you assemble the ship okay now one of the other really cool things and i really hope this works uh, Lynn, hmm. go go show him uh, C1. Let me let me get out of the ship though first. All right, now now some of you guys are Star Trek fans, and I hope this works because this is one of the buggy things about the mod. This is one of the buggy. Boom! It just fucking cloaked, dude. It just fucking cloaked. Now that's cloak one. Now right now because we're in the overworld, you can see the outline of the ship because it's 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 not in pitch black. If we were in space. You wouldn't see that. Uh, the other bug, you can see the uh, cloak generators right now. We're trying to work on fixing that. We're not quite sure why that's happening. All right, Lem, go ahead and do cloak two. Cloak two. Cloak two is on. That is cloak two. Nothing. You can't see anything. You'll also notice that Lem is on the inside of that. You can't see fucking Lem either, okay? He's completely gone. Anybody else that's inside of there can't see him. Can't see the missiles, can't see the rockets, can't see any of that stuff. You can also place blocks down while it's cloaked, okay? But initially, when you place the block, you're going to be able to visibly see the block, okay? 
However, it will it will invisible it'll go invisible pretty quick. The problem is, like I said, at the moment, you see the little squares, the cloaking devices are currently visible. Uh, they're not visible to everyone. Some people will see the cloaking devices, some people will not. Lem is gonna work on fixing it. We hope to have this fixed in the next what couple weeks, probably. Yes. So for right now, if you decide to put a cloaking device on your ship, please, please don't expect to be invisible because there's a good chance you won't be. All right, go ahead and turn the cloak off. Oh, you want to until back? Yeah, I'd, I'd kind of like to be able to see the ship if that's okay. Okay, all right. So now we're, we're, we're coming back down. All right, coming in. Okay, so this ship right here is kind of small. It's it's one of well I guess I wouldn't say it's small it's what one of the medium sized ones. It's the uh, biggest we can get in the overworld. Okay, when you're building your ships, there are certain sizes that you have to have. Okay, so if you are inside the overworld, which is the normal world of Minecraft, you can only be what fifteen hundred blocks. Or uh, twelve hundred. Twelve hundred blocks, roughly twelve hundred blocks. Okay, so at twelve hundred blocks. That's your limit. If you go over 1,200 blocks, you're stuck, okay? Connor, we'll talk about magic here in a minute, buddy. We'll talk about magic here in a minute. Okay, so at 1,200 blocks, you can't, you're okay. But if you're under that, you're fine. If you go over it, you're gonna get stuck or you won't be able to come back in. So 1,200 blocks is your limit. Now you can actually see when you click on this computer, right here you can see size 1,172 blocks. That's how big our ship is, okay? And right here you can see the dimensions of your ship. So the front is 13 blocks from the warp core, uh, five, uh, five is the height, 11 back, or no, five right, five left. So you can kind of see the setup there, okay? Now this right here is your screen. As soon as you plant this computer, this is what you're gonna see. You can change the ship name right here by pressing in. So we're gonna go ahead and call this the uh, YouTube comment because we're going to probably end up blowing this ship. So this ship is now the YouTube comment, okay? Then you can see our current XYZ coordinates right here. You can see our current energy. Now this right here, 99%, we're at 99 million, 99 million EU. Attached players. These are all the people that are currently active in the ship. You have to actually come over here and right click the warp core. I think, is it the warp core or is it the controller? Uh, controller. Okay, I just clicked on the controller and you can see my name is now, should be off the list. If I click it again, now I'm attached and my name should show up on the list. You can't see it because it's truncated, but that's my name right there. So now I'm on the list. That means I can control the ship, I can interact with the ship, etc., etc. Now it has summoning, okay? So summoning, what basically summoning does, if you've ever played a multi, uh, an MMO, summoning means pulling your crew to you. So let's say you've got your whole faction, okay? Your whole faction is on here. Now, Lem, you're outside, right? Yes. Okay, let's say Lem's outside. My faction's outside. They're fighting in a, fa a faction base. They're raiding somebody's base, and we're in trouble. And it's like, you know what? It's time to get the fuck out of here. Well, then you just press C to summon, and you can summon individual people. So Lem's in trouble. I'm going to save Lem's ass. So I push that, and Lem gets summoned. Notice how Lem just appeared right here. Well, every time you do that, it costs you some power. Now, we've got this currently set up with a creative setup, so you won't notice the cost being moved, but you can pull people pretty much anywhere. The other cool thing is you can actually set it up to pull people after warp. Uh, that's down here. Uh, where is it? I think it is. Yeah, on, on warp data. Yeah, so you can actually set it up where it summons after you move. So after you move the ship, you can you can go. Now we're gonna we're probably not gonna deal with jump gates and hyperspace until I do my mod review and mod spotlight for this. But there is hyperspace. Hyperspace is going to be a completely different dimension in space. And the way hyperspace works is there is a maximum distance you can move your ship. Okay, so. You want to move your ship, let's say, 5,000 blocks. 
Well, I think the limit in space to move our ship is what, 500? Is that what we said? Yes, about? I'm saying that. Yeah. Okay, so you can only move your ship 500 blocks at a time. Okay, well, that's fine and all, but let's say your base is 12,000 blocks away. That's a long way. So that's like what? 24 jumps? That's a long way. Well, if you go into hyperspace, if you go into hyperspace, every block you move moves you 10 blocks. So if you move 5,000 blocks, or if you move 500 blocks, which is the max jump, you're actually moving 5,000 blocks in space. So you jump into hyperspace, you move one jump, and instead of jumping once, you just jumped 10 times. Then you transition back to normal space, and you're good to go. Pretty badass, pretty badass. Problem is, not all ships can go into hyperspace without a jump, uh, a jump gate. If you're too small, you can't get in. Now, what's the size limit for hyperspace? Um, that's a freaking good question. Well, we're not, we're not sure yet. We'll, we'll get that to you guys. <laughs> Be careful. Don't take your ship into hyperspace unless you're sure. Because if you go into hyperspace, you can get lost in hyperspace, okay? And if you get stuck in hyperspace, you can't get out without a jump gate. And if you don't know where the jump gate is, or you haven't figured it out, or don't know how to move, you can be fucking stuck in hyperspace. You will literally be lost in space. And that's no fun. 3,000. Yeah, 3,000 blocks. 3,000 blocks to get in and out of hyperspace with your ship alone. So we've shown you guys how this works. Uh, let's go ahead and make it day again. All right, so you can see we are right outside of spawn. There we go, let me, let me pull it out for those of you guys who don't believe. We are on the overworld. There's spawn right there. That's, that's spawn. All right, we're gonna go show you guys space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the USS Redneck. All right, uh, let's see. Jump, 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 jump. Uh, set warp data, S. Okay, so right here, you press S, that pulls up the warp screen. So right here, you have the option of jumping left, right, and use your control, or your, what do you call it, the arrow keys to do it. You can go yes. forward. You can go backward, or if you press the W key, you'll go up, and the S key, you'll go down. Now keep in mind, keep in mind, you can't jump through solid objects. Unfortunately, it's not like uh, Star Trek's warp where you're actually moved out of space and then brought back into space. If you try to warp through a solid object, you will have a horrible time. And by horrible time, I mean I think your ship will explode, or a large portion of your ship will explode. So don't do it. So we want to go up. We want to go up into space. So we're, we're, we press W. We're going up. We're going to hit enter to confirm. Okay. Now it says distance. Min distance 13, max 140. Looks like the 500 didn't save. So we're going to go ahead and jump 140. Now, unfortunately, because we're not in, um, we're not that high, we're probably going to have to jump twice. Probably going to have to jump 140 twice. 140 is because uh, you go in space right away or something. Okay, well, we'll find out here in a second. All right, clicking 140. So now I've got it set up. You can see the warp data right here. It says direction. We're going to go up. Distance, 140. Destination coordinates are 259. So that's going to put us in space, or it should. Summon after? 44. No. It will be just before the ceiling. I just guess. before the ceiling? Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump. So doo -doo 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 -doo. J for jump. Are you sure? Well, we're going to go ahead and say yes. And you can see the little blurring effect. And you can see outside, and boom. Should be moving us now. Mm, no, we didn't start the jump. I started the jump. Little whirl thing. Whirl thing no, worked. I didn't see. See, pre jump. Hmm. Come on. Come on, ship. Of course, it, it, it worked fine. Earlier and now now it's gonna be now it's gonna be a butthead. Do we? Whoa! Yeah, it jumped. Did jump. Yeah. Okay. So it takes a little while sometimes, depending on how far you jump. Let me show you guys what it looks like outside now. We are now 140 blocks higher than where we were. That's pretty high up. Pretty high up. Okay. So let's go in. That's right. In Star Trek, it doesn't pull you out of normal space. There was that. Uh, 
There was that uh, one episode, though, where they had the, the special warp drive that allowed them to go through things. And they had that spaceship that got stuck inside the asteroid and they found people half in and half out. That's right. Okay, so now that we're, we're up, there's a cooldown. So you can't just immediately jump again, okay? You can't just immediately jump. There's a 30 second cooldown up to 60 seconds depending on how far you jump, all right? So if, you're, if you jump too far, there's a little bit of a cooldown. So that means if you're in PvP, you can't just bounce around all over the place, juking and jiving. You're gonna have to plan your jumps, you're gonna have to plan your jumps in advance. So we wanna keep going up. So we're just gonna jump again. And hopefully this will kick us into space now. Hopefully. Yep. You can hear the different sound. The different sound. The scary sound. Scary sound. And we'll give it a minute. I just realized I don't have an oxygen mask on. I should yeah, that's why I placed air generator. Oh, okay. All right. You well, will still suffer a bit. I'm going to go ahead and go into creative just so I can fly around and show people things. <laughs> you hear that sound? Boom! And we are loading. We are loading. Oh, yeah, Boom! I've never been in space, yeah. We are now out in space. Now out in space. Now you can see the little blue stuff. That's oxygen. That's oxygen being spread around. So you can kind of see it's filling up. It's very similar to the Galactic Craft oxygen setup. So, uh, does the program come with the mod or do you have to code it yourself? Uh, I'm honestly not sure. I'm honestly not sure. I think the Lynn, program comes, you place the computer, the program is already loaded. For us, we have it set up to where you just place the computer down and it automatically happens. If you get the mod on your own setup, then it may not work. No, this is not linked with the Galactic Craft. It's totally different. Totally different. Okay, so these are the, the air generators. They're filling up oxygen here. They're keeping everything rolling. You can see all of the resident energy cells that we've got feeding everything. We'll cover that here in a minute. So let's, let's go ahead and peek outside real quick. As you can see, uh, there ain't no there there ain't no planet no more. We're out here now. These down here, uh, am I in creative? Okay, there we go. These are asteroids. Now this is an asteroid field. Uh, we've we've adjusted the spawn rates uh, a little bit. We're still tweaking them. Basically, you have limitless space out here in space. You can go as far as you want. Keep it reasonable, folks. If we find somebody that's 500,000 blocks out, you're probably going to be murdered by me or Lim or Lim's cat. Um, either way, keep it reasonable. But you've got plenty of room. So right here, you guys can see this is an asteroid field that is randomly generated. Okay? Now, these asteroids have different stuff in them. So, like, uh, you've got this one over here. This one's got some redstone on it. It's got some, uh, some pyroethium ores. Uh, we've got one over here that's got some gold, some iron. Uh, this one over here has just some, some random nether ores. Uh, down here, we've got a, I think this is a solid gold one. No, what is that? Altaris? The other thing, and this is one of the big catch-22s kind of of the, uh, of, of, of the mod, so to speak, is Applied Energistics is open to all, right? Uh, the basic one, yes. Yeah, so uh, Applied Energistics, short of the crafting, is open to everybody, okay? Everybody can access it. The drawback is you can only get Certus Quartz in space. You can only get it. So you're going to have to actually go around and hunt for Certus Quartz, like right here. And you're going to have to mine it in space. You have to mine these in individually. Now, you can see right here... This is just an asteroid field. So we just generated this asteroid field. This asteroid field's here. There's all these asteroids we can play with. This is all right here. We're going to go ahead and jump and see if I can show you guys a planet. Actually, should we show them the mining thing? As you wish. Yeah, okay. How many blocks down do you think we should go? Like... No idea. Ten, well, we'll go down like... We'll go down like 20. Oh, you can go... Uh, I mean... You're at 245. You could go down. Well, I don't want to hit an asteroid. Oh, you don't want the explosion? No, I don't want the explosion. I don't want the explosion. You can go down by 40. At least 50, it's not 60. Okay, we'll go down to 50. 
we'll go down 50. All right, so let's set our warp data. We want to go down, so that's S, S on the keyboard. Press enter. Uh, we want to go down 40 blocks, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and jump. Yes. All right. And apparently we didn't get the audio that time, unfortunately. Uh, and you can see we've dropped down significantly now. You can drop down much faster. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to be like on over one of them. All right, so vector me in near one of the asteroids, like not too too near, but just close enough so we can see no. it, so I can show the mining. Get done seventy. Down seventy. Yeah. Okay. Down seventy. All right. Done and jump and yes. All right, we're coming. Yes, there's a hole in the spaceship for testing purposes. Lim, you're not gonna make me explode, are you? I don't want to explode. Mm, not yet. And you can see because we're moving further this time, it's taken a little bit longer to wind up than it did last time. So depending on how far you move... Did I move too far? Yeah. Okay. Alright, where, where, where to now, sir? Uh... The... We could try this one here. What's it? Astral Silver. So we need to move back. Back? Uh, where is the mining thing? Here. Uh, 47 back. 47 back. Roger that. Jumping. Here we go. All right, we moved back 47 blocks. Okay, and then you need to move left by the minimum size. Left by the minimum size? Yeah, the okay. shortest you could do. That's 11. All right, and jumping. Can't tell if that's... We may collide a bit. Oh, great. Oh, just right up. <laughs> uh, how close? <laughs> one, one more, it will be a collision. <laughs> oh, seriously? Let me come look yeah. at this. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> okay, so you can see this down here. This is an astral silver ore setup. Now, this is, this is an asteroid. Now, this ship... You don't have to be this close to it. This thing will mine like a hundred blocks away. It will mine ridiculously far. Now, um, I will show how to do this here in a bit. Lim's going to set it up right now because I don't know all of the commands. This is one of the ones we don't have set up easy mode yet. It's not too hard. It's just a few basic commands. Uh, and we'll probably put this in a forum post so you guys can see. And I'll make a video showcasing how to do it. Um, but basically, you have different camera nodes that you can place in the different ships and different abilities, lasers, mining lasers, and a few other things. And you can see right here, this is the mining laser off the ship. Pretty nice. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's still pretty quick. It's still pretty quick. It's, it's kind of about maybe, maybe slightly slower than a quarry. And it will mine a certain area underneath your ship. And it's it's kind of a tight cone. You know, as you can see, it's it's about a, I don't know, maybe a 9x9 nine nine block area. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. The nice thing, though, is it will go pretty damn far. Like this asteroid down here, it will... I'm pretty... Oh, why am I not going down? There we go. Need this jet back to move in space. I'm pretty sure. Go ahead and erase that one up there, and let's see if it'll chum all the way down here. I'm pretty sure it will. Of course, this is an ore, so it may not. It's cobblestone. I don't know if it'll work. Now, 
Now, the cool thing is you can mine while cloaked if you can keep the power up. The problem is cloaking is very expensive power-wise. Very expensive. So you may not be able to actually keep the power on while doing it. So, you know, you kind of got to be careful. I love the little red dots spraying everywhere. Hmm. I'm, I'm hoping this is still centered. I'm not sure if it is. We'll find out here in a second. We'll find out here in just a sec. Come on now. Please don't make a liar out of me, ship. Bam! So you guys can see the distance. You saw it mine. You saw it fire the little laser. That's a pretty decent distance. That's a pretty pretty decent distance. So it's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, a couple of you guys said it, it'd be careful uh, that you could mine bases with it. I believe it only mines ores. So yes, it does. if you don't have ores, you, you can't go and mine somebody's base out. It's, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. There's All right. There's another laser for that. Yeah, there's another laser for that. All right, let's uh, let's jump and see if we can't. Are we clear in front or no? We look uh, clear in front. Yeah, we are. Okay. Now we should be able to jump 500 as a maximum. I'm not sure if that actually worked though. We didn't test it, and the world is not generated, so we probably collide something. No, oh, <laughs> blended. Well, we may get yeah. to see an explosion here. It's saying the maximum is 156. It won't let me go fast or further than 156. And what? Okay, then do one on 156. All right, we're going 156, folks. 156. And I'm hoping I can show you guys a planet. If not, I'll have them spawn one. Well, they're not actually planets; they're moons. So I call them planets, though. All right, we should be moving any time now. Now that, uh, remember I was telling you guys you have the little mining laser things? They were putting all that ore right here in this chest. So, kind of a nice little feature. Damn, still And if you there. forgot to put a chest, you will lose the ore. Yeah, and if you don't put a chest there, it won't happen. Whoa, did we just explode? Deep collision detected. Damage report. Yeah, we collided. We are losing air, Captain. All right, well, we hit, we hit up. We, we, oh wow. So yeah, yeah we had a, we had a small damage right here. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, where else did we get hit? Is that it? I think that's it. Damn. That's actually a pretty big field. All right, well. Since we slammed our ship into something, Lem, do you want to just spawn one moon in somewhere, like a safe distance away, so we can show them? Uh, yeah. Front left. Alright, I'm right behind you. Damn, this asteroid feels kind of dense, man. That's what you ask. That's true. That's true. Oh god, Lem, I... Lem, I'm inside of it. Help me, Lem. Ow. Okay, this right here is a moon. And this is not one of the biggest moons. This is a decent, sized. yeah, this is about a medium sized moon. So not too shabby. Uh, unfortunately, this one doesn't appear to have an atmosphere. It's a 50% chance. Okay, so not all moons have atmosphere. Some of them do. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the falling, or my flying. Come on, there we go. You can see this one actually has a little bit of gravity here and it will pull you to it, which is kind of nice. Now, the cool thing about this is you can mine this thing. You can mine it completely. Um, and sometimes they're hollow on the inside. I don't know if this one is. We'll find out. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's solo. <laughs> so you can see this one's core is made of lava. Now, not all of their cores are lava. Sometimes their core could be a special mineral. Sometimes it could be hollow and have a base inside of it with a ship. Or it could have a lot of different things inside of it. A lot of different things inside of it. So you're going to want to take a look at the moons. You want to see what they have. And I have a feeling 
there's going to be a lot of people with hollow moon bases. The hollow moon bases. Now, one other thing. Lim, what is the max size on a ship? 100 per side. 100 per side. So that's 100. So that's a 200 by 200 ship, correct? No, that's 100 by 100. Okay, 100 by 100. Okay, so you guys can actually have a ship that is 100 blocks by 100 blocks at the max size. I may be wrong. I'm pretty sure one of these moons could become a ship. Now I'm not I'm not giving you any ideas, but I'm just saying you could cloak one of these fuckers and turn it into a Death Star. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Now one of the things is there's some complicated math on some of these setups. So at least initially, it's gonna be kind of complicated for you guys until I get the forum posts and everything up. Uh, for you guys to calculate certain things. For instance, um, it is point, for cloak one, if, if it worked, I believe it's 0.5 EU per tick, or per block per tick to stealth with cloak one. So cloak one, if you have a 100 by 100 ship, that's like, what, a shit ton of blocks? That could be like five, 6,000 blocks. Well, if you've got 6,000 blocks, that's 3,000 EU a tick to keep that stealthed or cloaked, whatever you want to call it. Well, you won't be able to do that permanently because there are bandwidth issues. For instance, with IC2, I believe the most you can push is 512, right? Yes. Well, Actually, it's 2K. 2K. Okay, so 2K. So technically with IC2, if you connected from all, what, six sides, you could push two times six is what? 12? 12. Yeah, you could push 12. So you could keep a pretty large thing going. With thermal expansion, the max you can push per connection is 10,000. So with six connections of 10, you could do 60,000. So that gives you some pretty good numbers. So with those, you can keep some pretty large structures stealthed. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. So uh, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. Now, now I gotta talk about the bad news. The bad news about the server. Um, first off, the warp drive thing is very, very, duct tape oriented right now uh, it is an open source mod that Lim is making modifications to by hand to try and make work as you've noticed the cloaking doesn't really work all 100% there's a few other things that we have some problems with so we having some issues with certain things because of that we are restricting the warp drive mod to fan rank which is our lowest rank at five dollars also come august 1st august 1st if mojang decides to keep the eula the way it is now we will most likely have to turn the server into a pay to play server at around five dollars a month so keep that in mind i'm hoping that they don't and i'm hoping it gets better but i just want to let you guys know those two things before you get all excited and jump on the server so, uh, and, I, and I believe it's, it's, it's only to build or to have the spaceship and make it, right? Yeah, they can still bring their friends into space, right? Yeah, they can bring their friends into space. Okay, so whoever, who, you only need one person to build the stuff and move it. So, you know, not everybody in your faction will have to have it to be able to be a space person. Just the person who's building the actual ship itself, like the warp core and uh, the warp controller. So that's uh, that's more or less where we're at. So non non fan members will still be able to partake. Um, however, come August, things might get a little funky. Uh, I will let you guys know. It just depends on what um, it just depends on what Mojang does. So uh, will Quantum and Flight be banned? Do we have Quantum? I'm pretty sure it's banned. Quantum right? Quantum is banned. Yes. Quantum is banned. Quantum is banned. So. There is no quantum. We've we've tried to nuke most of the ridiculously overpowered stuff. Um, there's a few other things that are banned. Uh, tier three ICBM explosives. You cannot create them, 
but they can be gifted to you. So remember I was telling you guys we were going to be having the weekly YouTube events where YouTubers supply you guys with stuff? Well, that will be one of the things that we can supply you with. So let's say you've got a specifically nasty base you need to be able to antimatter and just nuke from orbit, then we, we can hook you up with one of those. However, you'll have to be able to fight for it and you'll have to be able to control the, uh, the point where it comes in. So we can send an antimatter down the pipe for you guys, but if you can't control the point and your enemy gets it, then instead of you antimattering them, they may be antimattering you. So keep that in mind. Also, I didn't cover hyperspace. I didn't cover jump gates. Um, there's a lot I didn't cover. I just gave you guys enough of a, of a te teaser to kind of get you guys started. And then we will probably start making videos over the rest of this stuff over the next couple days. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes.